Hi, I'm Lucas with Kurt Manufacturing, and today I'm going to show you how to take apart a DX6. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to loosen up the set screw in the back of the movable jaw. Once that's loose, you should be able to lift the movable jaw off of the nut. After that's done, you'll take the four screws off of the two-piece retaining nut. Once you have the screws removed from the two-piece retaining nut, you want to remove the two-piece retaining nut from the screw. And the best way to do that is with a spanner. But if you don't have it, you can always use the screws to get back in there. So you'll unthread it off the end of the screw. So after removing the first piece, if you can reach the second piece with your spanner nut, that's great. Otherwise, you can put the screws back in place Two of them to extend the reach of your spanner. So this will expose the bearing pack. You should get it out, pulling the screw away, just reaching in here, fingers. And the bearing pack will consist of a washer, a bearing, and another washer. So you'll want to make sure these are free of damage and that they're well greased before you put them back. And then you can pull the nut and screw out and you'll want to make sure the nut and screw are both undamaged. There's no chip buildup inside the threads. Um, and once you have inspected those, clean them, grease them, slide it back into the rice body. Then we will return the two piece retaining nut onto the screw. Once you have that started, if you need to extend the spanner again, you put the screws back. Then you put the second piece on. We need to put the handle on to keep the screw from turning. So once you get it all the way tight, what you'll want to do is back it off, back off the second piece until the holes line up with the first piece, and then you'll want to back it off two more screw holes, so 180 degrees, like so. And then you'll put the screws back in place.
and that's all put back together. And your vise should be as good as new after you replace the movable and tighten the set screw back down. Now when you tighten it back down, you want to get it hand tight with an Allen wrench. And then, once that's, once it's tight with an Allen wrench, you'll want to back it off about an eighth to a quarter of a turn.